this is a true performance integration partnership. And we do that under the methodology that we call our Performance Solutions Program. That we make bespoke products. We actually implant practitioners, people who are actually at the front line making a difference where it counts, which is the real where winning is done in sport. I think it was end of 2015 where we're looking for uh, a new partnership and I think we were just looking at that time for people who had a similar mindset. Um, it was all about performance, it was all about putting the riders at the centre you know, as, the, as the key people and the athletes, that was our mindset and we were constantly looking for partners who had that same mentality. You know when you're going into a performance partnership and certainly around fuel and intake of fuel, it's such a critical part of our sport, you've got to get the right people together and I, and I think seeing science and sport with their mindset about how they sort of saw challenges ahead of them, I think just it, it married up perfectly for us. Um, yeah, so I think they, they, were, they were perfect. Well, it's not just about their product, that's the thing, you know, the, the product at that time was world class and I think they were also um, wanting to improve their products and by using our athletes and getting the feedback and so forth you continued that um, development of their products as well but it was also that mindset and you've got to have that you've got to have the partners with the right frame of mind to you know not just invest money in the team but also invest time and uh, you know the, the the will to win that's what we're that's what we're here to do and we like to think that we do things a little bit differently this isn't just a partnership about exchanging rights or badging exercise this is a true performance integration partnership and we do that under the methodology that we call our performance solutions program and ultimately what we're trying to understand is the determinants of performance within the sport how do we make people go faster we break that into its component parts its performance priorities is the language that we use and we then come up with performance solutions and so from a science and sport integration perspective what that means is that we make bespoke products we actually implant practitioners into the sport, into the front line of elite sport. So we're delivering cutting edge knowledge, cutting edge innovation, but also cutting edge practitioners. People who are actually at the front line making a difference where it counts, which is the real where winning is done in sport. You could have best in class knowledge, but if you've got no delivery, then performance doesn't happen. And actually what this partnership brings is, is best in class knowledge, cutting edge science and innovation but also those skilled practitioners to then embed themselves into the front line of the sport, translate that knowledge from complex into simple solutions. In other words, what do people eat before, during and after, training sessions, stage racing, one day races and so on. And that makes a real difference to performance. It's great, uh, especially you know compared to being on, on a previous team or something like that. Um, never really had you know that top top level of a nutritionist uh, that's kind of personal to you, and someone that you can message anytime, anytime in the day. And yeah, he's there at races. Uh, he can tell me what supplements to take from SIS. So for myself as an embedded nutritionist within within the team. I'll then begin to better understand the performance questions that are considered within the team in relation to different aspects of performance, which I can then efficiently and quickly feed back to science and sport to use their expertise and networks to be able to come up with quite unique and uh, novel solutions to make sure riders are ultimately going faster. From my own experience of actually being a practitioner within the team itself and also working on the science and sports side, it's fair to say that nutrition for cycling has changed a lot in the last decade. It used to be a one-size-fits-all approach. Everyone got the same thing. But you know, when you're looking to make people go faster, you've got to really hone into the individual details. And that's why performing trials and understanding an individual rider's physiological responses to exercise can then allow you to craft that individual solution. And actually the biggest thing I would say that we've seen in performance nutrition in the last 10 years is the concept of periodized nutrition, which essentially means that when a rider's training looks different day to day, then the nutrition should look different as well. The two should go hand in hand. They should be fueling for the work required and matching their training demands with their energy demands. And that's probably the more sophisticated approach that we're now seeing, 
whereas many years ago it was everyone got the same thing and everything looked the same every day but of course that's not real cutting edge performance. So when it comes to the science and sport products we use with, with the riders during stages these are quite bespoke for for them riders. Again it is individualised to their needs in terms of it might be different to the, the normal person or an amateur athlete who obviously will have completely different energy demands to what uh, an elite world tour rider will have. So that's where the bespoke products will be more specific for them. But then we also then like to use this to cross over into commercial products that are then available for uh, the normal person to give them, I suppose, one, it will be beneficial for them, but they also get to experience and have the same products that uh, elite riders will be having as well. I think the, the key role of Beta Fuel when we started, it was actually started in December of the year before 2017, where we took all the staff all the riders together in Mallorca and we talked about the challenge of the Giro d'Italia and what's that going to take for us and this was something where um, one of the, the problems if you like to, to, to solve was getting enough fuel into Chris Froome knowing that it was hard to get roadside assistance or the car to be up there um, and support them <clears throat> and um, this is where Science Sport came with the idea of okay let's make a, a, a drink of a fuel drink that has got enough carbs in so the riders can be assured they're getting the right amount in per hour. Um, and then specifically on that day, um, we knew with the tactics, Chris was gonna go early, uh, high chance no team cars around. Um, so we put in a whole plan that literally every 15 minutes, he knew somebody would be stood on the side of the road. From the moment he, he uh, attacked on Col de Finestra, he had a fueling station every 15 minutes for the rest of the race. So yeah, that was it. Was hell of a day. I think it's you know a great partnership that the team's got with SAS. Um, I mean, for today example, I'm here, you know, looking at how I can improve my recovery uh, using their products, and then I can take this on to my races, future training, discuss it with my coach, the nutritionist. It's a great relationship and just a constant feedback with one another. Um, yeah, it's, it's key for you know performing in the races. Going forward, basically the nutritionist or my coach can then say to me, oh, this is what you've got to do after this training ride. Uh, this is you know, op optimal for your recovery and you know, going into the next, next training days and, or race days. I think with the performance solutions behind as well, we know there's a whole team of Science and Sport um, group who are, who are behind and looking at our challenges, you know, and we want to win the tour again. Um, so, you know, this winter is all about planning about when are we going to win the tour, how are we going to win the tour. And I think there's, it's not just the in-race, it's the off-race as well, it's the training environment as well, which is really important to us going forward. I think now that the guys have really found the feet within the team, and again, that integration that they are part of the team is a, is a huge step forward. Um, and, I, and I know as well, you know, they're pushing. They push us hard as well, and I think that's really quite, you know, it, it's really ch it challenges us, but it's a good challenge to have. And, you know, competing um, at the level these guys are competing now, the, uh, the, the style of racing has changed. And that will keep changing and, and evolving every year. You know, you know it, the racing is more explosive. We, we know for a fact the first hour of racing is, is quicker, is two or three kilometres an hour faster than it was, say, five, ten years ago. Um, so these are all the sort of things that we're looking at and thinking about fueling is, is absolutely critical. You know, how are we going to keep these guys topped up at the right moment? So when, when it's their time to, to really push on, they're, they're, they're fully ready to go. Ah!